joining me on Good Living Now is Sue Skeet. Sue, welcome. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Um, so tell us what a memory tree is and, uh, well, more importantly, why it was planted, so oh, okay. to speak. <laughs> That's a good way. I've never looked at it like that. Um, a memory tree um, is, is sort of my, my contribution to helping people in their time of um, grief and helping them um, record memories and share condolences um, after someone has passed on. Okay. Yeah. Um, it came about um, when my friend Trevor Clay was murdered here in Christchurch. She was walking home and mm. it was sort of the, the first, one of the first random attacks um, in Christchurch. So that really affected me um, when I went to the funeral and, um, well, at the time as well. Yeah. But um, at the funeral, sort of a group of people coming together that hadn't really been together before in a very stressful, um, tense time and really not having a chance to have your say because you don't know, you know, it's not the right time. That's it's, the trouble, isn't it? It, it never is. seems to be the right time. No, it's, it, it isn't. And, um, you know, and it's a, it's a terribly sad time for the immediate family. Yes. And you don't really know if what you're going to say is going to upset or enhance mm -hmm. it. And, um, yeah, there's a lot going on. So for me, um, I, I'd had a few other experiences losing people and I, I really felt that I wanted to have a place and create a place where it was safe for the wider, the, the bigger pools of the puddle to, to go and share their memories, you know, be complete with the process, yeah. That's a brilliant idea because I know a lot of these, um, you know, social websites and things like that. I mean, of course, you can do things on that, but this is designed specifically for this, isn't it? Is. it? Absolutely. We um, list 98% of all the deaths in the country. Mm -hmm. um, we obtain that information from daily newspapers, so we have the, all the listings. Um, a memory tree is a great place to find death information fast, so if you are looking for somebody, um, you, you, you'll most likely find them on our site. Um, we then refer you through to the funeral home, um, but we do offer a page if you do want to leave a message. Okay. So, yeah. So that's another aspect as well, because quite often you hear of someone that has um, passed on, and you might not necessarily be in the town where that death notice is in in that newspaper, Absolutely. and you don't want to miss any of that information. Absolutely. So you can come to a memory tree, you can ob obtain some of the information that was in the death notice such as the funeral home, the date of death and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. We also provide a death notice summary service where we can summarise the death notices. Um, with each listing we link the individual newspapers to that that person mm -hmm. so some people might have sort of two or three notices in various papers, some might have ten. Yeah. Um, and so it's a great way to sort of go and sort of say, well, I want to read all of those notices. Yeah, that is, exactly, <laughs> yeah. they're all there. Yeah, so and the bowling club might have left a notice, so it's kind of nice to know that the bowling club left, you know. Mm. So um, it's sort of making um, making your announcement last a little bit longer, I guess, and, um, yeah. And being able to add some personal messages to remembrance pages would be lovely, I can imagine, for, for family and friends as well to, to go back and look on. Absolutely, actually, we had... Um, one lady, a 42-year-old lady, who passed on and left two or three children. She she died in a motorcycle accident down in Central Otago, and there's you know over 1,300 people have visited her page, and there's over 100 messages. So for her children, um, who are only still young, that's an amazing thing to get to know mm. how their mother was perceived in the community and all the various groups that she was in. That's right. And um, yeah, it feels really good to be able to provide that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's wonderful. And I know on your cards you say, your kind words and fond memories matter. Leave a lasting memory online in your own time. And that, that's what it's all about, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Your own time. Because you are, everybody's entitled to their own mm. grief. Um, and their own, well, that's what makes us unique, our yes. memories. Yes. You know, yes. we could probably, I could, I could possibly in today's society look like you if I had enough <laughs> cosmetic yeah. surgery. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But that one thing that really is so special and so unique is our memories. And we never know when we've made a memory for somebody. Mm. And they never know when they've made a memory for us. For us as well. And, um, yeah, and people pass through your lives and, you know, you don't always touch base, you know, not always in contact. So, you know, there's always some regrets there if you this don't a, share those. A, a wonderful way to do it, it really is. If you haven't had a look at it yet, log on. It's www.amemorytree.co.nz and you can share some of your fond memories. Thank you very much, Sue. Thank you.